Hello and welcome back. Visconti is still the Pope, good for him. As for us though, we're just uh, Kings of Ireland, you know, that lowly position. Could you please uh, join us? I don't like the border of you being independent. I also like the border of half these people existing on the map. As for Levy, four odd thousand men, very strong. Strong how I like it. I could fit another province into my personal domain. I'm not sure where I'd get it from though. Good to see my uh, half sister here in charge, and her son is, of course, a Dunkeld. Huge shame. Huge shame. England is in a civil war. It'd be the best time to try and take over some of their stuff, really. If we wanted Wales, if we could even take Wales, we could not take Wales. Wales could not be taken. What about you? You want to give me some stuff over here? Why can I not do border disputes? Personal wealth of 400 bucks, that's a bit much, don't you think? I need to have 400 bucks before I can attack. I want claims on all of your lands. And he is actually the king of Orkney. The Orkney are king of Norway. His capital is Orkney. This, this is rather hilarious. I want Iceland as well. There's no claimants up there. I want it. I want claims to all of these lands. What is this? Nothing. It is nothing. Ah, excellent. We will gain a claim on the county of Marn. Terrific. Exactly what I was after. And you would like to form a proper alliance with me, King Henry of France? Are you sure? Oh, I already have three alliances. I decline your offer. I will have a go to war with you. Declaration. Claim Mumu. Mumu belongs to me. Is it man? Wait, no. Man, not Mumu. Never mind. Anyway, we will, call, uh, we will call in Dunbar. We'll call in the French. See if they can actually get over here. Let's raise all of our men. Everyone will amass over here where they are required, and then we'll make our move. Excellent. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and the roads, uh, routes are not safe. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Leonis has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Deus Vault. Deus Vault indeed. It better be in Crusade Kings 3. It better be. Deus Vault is very culturally significant. Alright, let's uh let's chop the army in half here. We'll send half to Gallagher and we'll send half to over here. We're really out of commanders. You can have three. You can have two. Excellent. Let's take over these lands. Or at least the islands here. Upon his return, Bishop Gilla hands me a richly decorated frame containing a piece of cloth with a clear outline of a face. According to my court chaplain, this is the miraculous image of Jesus, sent by Christ to King Ab Abgar of Edessa to cure him of an illness. Though an impressive find, finding artifacts is what I pay him for. Oof. I will ensure he is richly compensated. I can't afford that. He shall have my favour. Yes, let's owe him a favour. Excellent. We truly are the most pious of men. Image of Odessa. Health is increased, monthly piety, prestige, national tax modifier. We really are a great man. We have a great sword, the silver-hilted axe of Ireland, the image of Odessa, prosthetic leg. Let's rename it. Trusty Companion. There we go. Yes, we now have the image of Christ in our possession. How glorious we are. And we gain some shekels while we're at it. Mission Training Ground has been built over there. Great. Huge fan of that as well. Can't build anything else just yet, but our French allies have arrived. What's this? The late nights, the way my wife has stopped touching me or even looking at me. And now she, the whispers of her and that foul coward. I can't take it anymore. Uh, he would never, he is a coward. Confront him at once. 
He's a craven. He would submit if he was up to no good. Paranoid coward admits to having an affair with my wife. Sincerely asking for forgiveness. Never. Announce them both publicly. Announce them both publicly. She's now known as the Unfaithful, and he... He will be imprisoned. He has fled. The man has fled. A coward. As for my wife, can I arrest her as well, or even ask for a divorce? I could request divorce, and the Pope would allow it. Excellent. She shall be divorced. The alliance has broken down, and she has left us, but she is an unfaithful woman. I deserve a more honourable wife. Let's look for one. Let's see who's around. The Princess of Sicily, you say? Dutch from uh, Regnar. She's chased, however. A Norman. Powies. A homosexual woman. Make a terrific match, we would. Um, Germans, Italians, French, Germans, Swede, Catalan, Dutch. Just cynical, paranoid. Ah, oh, I can't stand cynical people. I would never marry such charitable, patient, craven, brawny. Yeah. Another Dutch here, uncouth. No, definitely not. German, German. A concubine of Sardinia. No, no, no good. I'm an older man, so I don't mind going a bit older with the women. Italians, though. No, an Irish woman. No, no, no. Lombard, Germans. Ivoring. Nobody is taking my fancy. Nobody within uh, Dutch proximity, at least. Norman. Lunatic with great pox. Definitely not. De Savoy. Diligent. Just. Erditude. Good diplomat. Anne. What have you been up to, De Savoy? Let's, let's invite her over. Both her siblings are priests. De Savoy, eh? Invite her over. See if she's any good. Where's she from? They're not terribly far away. If ever I would have hoped. We're all unmarried, but not for long. Open council positions as well. Spy master required. We'll give it to this gentleman here. Oh, will we? Oh, he's leader of a revolt. Is he the... Ah, of course he is. 1.4 thousand, and he is attacking my dearest of sister with 800. Yeah, we need to actually stop him. We can't let him do this. Peace with them at once. Excellent, we have now a wife, Andy Savoy. Hopefully she'll be much more loyal. Very well, this must end. I should start reading the book. Yeah, sure, let's read a book. The book about poetry is really boring, but I should take the bird out for some hunting. Yes, of course. We need a new spy master again. You will do. You will do your job, and I'm sure. We have a very holy course. Could you please study technology? Can you do it in... Uh, send him to Rome. He's a holy man. I'm sure he'd like it down there. As for this war, we are winning our sieges. It's just the... Uh, the enemy hasn't turned up. The stubborn baron of Tyr Cornell is really getting on my nerves. My wife, Anne, sends my irritation and offered to give me advice. I hope she can uh, save me now. Good. I've gained content. Thank you, wife. The faithful prepare for war. A messenger approaches us with a letter from the Vatican. From the Vicar of Christ himself, he is asking us to prepare our men to fight against the heathens and infidels, to restore Christendom to the lost places of the world. The Pope wants to send our faithful Christian men against Egypt. The region is held by Caliph Ferus, and it is time to return it to Christianity once more. Though the Pope wants to invade Egypt, a pious Christian could convince everyone to focus on another sub-objective that is of moral value to us. My men are ready to Egypt. We will join this crusade. The assassins spread to Syria. That's a shame. Crusade beneficiary not. I want to give my titles. We have to cruise this one. I am the most partisan member of the war. I will take the titles for myself. Beneficiary will get my... Uh, well, sh if I should comply with people, will or go on my own way when it comes to distribution and titles in my case, victory in the crusades. 
My beneficiary will get my titles. It's too far away. My recipients. Oh, beneficiary down here. My beneficiary will be my son Henry. My son Henry will be made a lord in this foreign land. Yes, Henry. Henry will do. The other side, not so many. The war chest, a lot of this, a lot of gold. What can I do? Distribution of 18. I simply cannot afford to donate anything. Yeah, well, we'll pledge to Crusade. It's good enough for now. Crusade for Egypt in uh, less than a year. So hopefully we can tie up this war. Hopefully we can tie it up nicely. Excellent news, more gold. And apparently I am now a falconer. And I can usurp this man's title while I'm at it. Sure. We can give it to you. Which will break up his realm a fair bit. I will usurp it. Now I'll grant it to you or you. Let's grant it to you. Although your heir is this man. So I'd be making him double duke unless you have a son. Which you may well do. Or I could simply give it to you. We'll risk making him extra powerful. We'll grant him the duchy. Excellent. Oh, now his children are his heir. Terrific. Hopefully he then uh, uses this to go over there. Wait, what? His wife is now the Queen of Castile? I think the Irish might have been getting to Castile for a second there. Right, let's uh, try and get in on these Irishmen. I mean, not Irishmen, he's an horseman. We required a war score. We barely got it, but we did get some. Okay, let's go to his capital. What's this? Child lacks education. This is my daughter, Martha. She's doing well with diplomacy and finances. We'll learn her about some etiquette. Very good. Getting some shekels while we're here, at least. 94% war score. Let's just to go to his capital and uh, take it out. Can't be that hard. We need to get ready for this crusade. The conversion of Livonia. Very good. God has finally touched them. Well, the priests are known for that sort of thing. The Duke of Mumu has given me a bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Bishop Felshad of uh, his sexual preferences. What should I do with his juicy information? Now, what is, what is his job? He is fabricating claims in Mumu. Oh, we've already got that. Give this information to myself. And uh, while you are here, you may as well perform states of craft instead. But we have invaded and successfully taken over the Isle of Man. That must be Isle of Man in uh, Irish. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, the army must go home. Who are you? Carikian Peasant Revolt. We won't go through them. We'll just go around. Jihad for Anatolia. The hospital has seen an increase in the amount of people looking for food and shelter lately. It can barely provide for the food for required as it is. Perhaps this is a good opportunity to make an impression. Yes, yeah, so let's spend half of our money here. Arms and other supplies have been brought to the hospital. It will make life much easier for those in need. The question now is how to present this extraordinary gift. A gift from the king. The round provided the offering. Or I'm doing it for the people. Is a gift from the king, surely. What am I here? Content, arbitrary, lustful, humble. I'm a humble man. The realm provided this. Ugh, God. Oh, well, let's uh, put down the army for now. Do I even have any ships? I do, of course. Right, well, hopefully these people can fight each other. 800 men, 1,000 men. He should do it. Just invade him already, would you? We will uh, sit here and prepare for a crusade. I'll send all 4,000 men. There's no need to hold back. There's a crusade for the world of Christendom. We should do all we can. Young Henry has finished his education in stewardship, and it is evident he excelled in his studies. He is a fortune builder. Young Henry's developing natural domain of humility. Contents. Entry goes down, leisure opinion goes up, public piety. Or as it should be, becomes humble. He's not a very learned man, but he does have his stewardship. And I have groomed an heir. Good for me. And I have the next ambition. I choose to put a war chest. 
No. No, not build a war chest. We would like to see the realm prosper. No, we want to make a friend, of course. A friend who isn't my sister. My other sister is uh, the Queen of France, of course she is. Oh, and she's already had a... No, she hasn't. He has an heir who isn't my son. Or my relative. How do we get rid of this guy? Prisoners. Do whatever they do. And then we have these plots. You... My half-sister is trying to kill my other half-sister. You're trying to kill other people. You... Are imprisoned. How dare you. Plot against the royal family. You are also not imprisoned. We'll ask you to end your plot, though. Who else is plotting against my family? One sister against the other. Can we ask you to stop, please? Ask to join the plot? No, of course not. I plot to kill your son-in-law, though. Excellent. My son is now my heir. Wait, what did I... I did the wrong thing here. I meant to end the plot. No, I don't want to be in the plot. How do I leave it? My plots. No, get out of there. I don't want to be in there. This was a mistake. Burn the apostate. Who is this man? Ah, it doesn't matter. As for this, uh... Approaches you and presents you a quest to buy a small plot of your land. I need the gold I gain now, so I lose that. Ooh. Cornelso's off Beggarland. He is a good man. I can't really deny him. Give me your gold. Thriving economy is good for the realm. The King Ed of Ireland has accepted a call to arms bomb by the Pope, opposing Caliph Tajadin due to having pledged to join the Crusade. Crusade for Egypt. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares a crusade for Egypt. It was once a part of the core of Christian lands and lords from all across the world gathered to fight for it in a grand war once more. The Fatimid lands have long been under the tyrannic, tyrannic rule of the Mahmadan, infidel Caliph Tajuddin, but with the upcoming Christian onslaught it is only a matter of time before he will fall. God will grant remission of sin to anyone partaking in the righteous war. There's vaults. How does it look? Holy fuck, we are gonna smash this kid. A beneficiary is not my son anymore? Okay, it can be him, the the, the eunuch. Alright. Sucks that it's him, but I don't really have any other options here. Right. Call the men. Christianity needs us. Call the ships. Do my ships move as well? No, so we need to alternate select the ships and get them over here at once. Good. And uh, I will go on this crusade personally. I will personally lead my men. We'll take Domnial and Tuthaksh. I will embark my army and we'll be on our way. With the rest of Christianity, of course. We'll arrive in Egypt. We'll find somewhere to besiege. Uh, no, we weren't the first to arrive. I mean, maybe that's a good thing, seeing the loss is going on here. 14,000. 12,000. Alright. 4. Plus mine would be about 9. More hours to come. We are going to land over here. In Al Farama. But not this episode, next time. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. What do you mean? Did he die? I think he died. Okay. And I can't use my other son, Patrick. Right, well... I guess, uh... I'll accept him now. I'll stick with Beneficiary. If we ever find one. Oh, all that I'll do for this episode. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.